Hi, I'm Paul Clark. I, I've just started work as a mental health key worker at Primacy. Um, just just being out, out with people. Um, so yeah, just just being out in the community was quite a frightening place. Um, with psychosis, uh, people don't really understand. Sometimes people just basic things like um, going through a checkout or something was a stressful experience. And yeah, it's just things like that just don't occur to me as anything anymore. But it was it was a big deal. Um, 12 months ago. He was a little bit hard to engage. Obviously, trying to understand what you need to get out of supports can be quite daunting as well. Um, but his transition over the time of starting support to where he is now is amazing. I know that, you know, going back and reading care notes that Paul did, um, or that his worker did on um, Paul, it's always great when you can read Paul is thinking of stopping support so that he can gain permanent employment. That's one that we just go, it's working and it's doing its job. Uh, yeah, good days are just, um, yeah, pretty, pretty big exposure days. So we did um, some sessions in the city. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty much sessions without time frames with the worker and um, yeah, just sort of pretty random what we could do and, and um, yeah, just really just took it as far as we wanted to go. And some, sometimes things went wrong, like uh, maybe buses replaced trains and just took up the exposure to like a level I wouldn't have even tried. And it's just, um, yeah, it just turned into good sort of recon missions to, to sort of see that it was sort of, everything was okay and I could do these sort of things by myself. And yeah, they, they, were, they were the best days. So even though things were going wrong, I think they turned into really positive days. Uh, yeah, pretty isolated. So yeah, I really, yeah, just um, I can't really think of much I did for years. And um, yeah, these days, it's like there's just so much going on. But yeah, there's probably years I couldn't I couldn't tell you what happened for years. So and um, yeah, it just got built routine. So I think um, more workers, more routine, um, just something on the calendar. I think it's sort of something to get up for. I think and. Um, yeah, that's, that's been a big help. Paul, when I first started with Paul, he was um, in a little bit of a transitional phase. He had had an original support worker and we were now sort of in a gap of trying to find somebody else. Um, so understandably, he was a bit anxious and our phone calls were quite regular. So I got to know Paul really well. We did then manage to set up Paul with a worker that he really gelled with um, and really found that he was able to start his goals or start his progression towards his goals. Um, so at the start, a little bit anxious and a little bit hard to engage but we got the momentum going. Uh, probably probably um, with support workers there's a lot of anxiety probably who's going to knock on the door who's, who's it going to be and um, you know, I'm, I was probably pretty anxious and pacing around waiting for the worker and and then it's just become just so easy and, and um, yeah looking forward to the workers coming rather than worrying about things it, it turned into a really positive experience in the end but um, yeah, it's really good. So at the start, it was a little bit of a rocky journey. That engagement, that trying to understand what you're going to get out of support, I think is a challenge. Um, and really knowing who you are and where you want to go um, and accepting help. I think that's a, that's a really big thing. Um, and it does at times with a lot of participants take that time to gradually get to it. Um, so understandably a little bit anxious, but um, I think we got there. Well, it's evident we got there. Uh, I've got lots going on, so it's sort of, um, yeah, it's just so many things. It's um, just making every day sort of count now, where so I'm sort of I, I almost like making up for lost time. Um, so, yeah, I'm learning tennis, uh, back to kite surfing, I've got cycling, I've joined the gym. It's, it's non-stop, it's absolutely non-stop. I'm having, I'm having a ball, it's just winter's a bit hard at the moment, but, um, yeah, you know, I'll make, you know, I've just got a better wetsuit, so <laughs> I'll still keep going, you know. Um, yeah, just thanks, thanks um, to service delivery, particularly um, just for yeah, getting getting me into the into primacy. Um, yeah, I, th I think Nikki's been super friendly and um, engaging as Kate before Nikki. Um, um, yeah, they they got me started. I think um, just the, the the phone calls at the start was probably much all pretty much all I had. I think at, at that time. But um, yeah, some really special workers I've had, and um, yeah, they've been really patient. Uh, I, th I think um, the patience of some of these workers. Uh, I mean, I think with Emily last year, I was, I was super, super chatty at one point, and I, I was actually co contemplating buying her earmuffs at one point for, for OHS for her um, sanity at one point. But um, yeah, they've been really good.